we're going over to the CCS gun store. We're going to meet the owners who put on the Friends of NRA banquet here in Vegas. Yeah. You want to take the horse around? Yeah, come on. Go ahead. Come on. Get up there. Yeah. There we go. I'm going to go in and talk to our friend. Come on, man. Yeah. How often do we come across brass horses that we can get? Where are we going? No, no. They're going to think we're idiots. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, dude. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. Hello. Hi. Good. How are you doing? Nice to meet you, Jesse. Nice to meet you. Sandra and Chris are the owners of the store, but they actually host the banquet for the Friends of NRA Committee here in Vegas. We walk in and we're greeted by the gatekeeper, Lord Montague, this two-year-old Great Dane puppy who stands taller than me, jumps over the counter to greet us. And Jesse, being the dog lover that she is, ended up spending more time talking to the dog when we first got there. But uh, I would have to say this is probably one of the largest dogs I've ever seen in my life. Friends, committee chairman for the Vegas Chamber. He's a mascot. He's a mascot. Let's go get a cookie. Time to go to work. Cookie time. Well, we were, we're out here for the uh, NRA country event. We're going to be shooting some shotguns with some country music singers. And, but we know y'all were instrumental in getting this Friends of NRA committee started here, correct? Yes. We collect donations and we work all year round. Uh, most groups, you know, work for three months and they put on their banquet. Ours goes on all year. We've been involved with the Friends of NRA for quite some time. 15 now, years. 15 years. We got started to begin with because uh, the first chairman that was here was Ron Woven. Uh, he stopped in the shop one day and he said, do you have anything hanging on the wall that you haven't been able to get rid of? And I said, not really. <laughs> and he says, well, do you have anything that you're working on? And I said, well, I got a 45 that I've been building for myself. Uh, he took one look at it and I lost my gun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my gun went to the NRA that year. Really? And this yeah. is one of the guns, a sample of what Chris Bill every year. That's, that's one, nice. that's a sample of what Chris Bill every year. The cool thing about the Friends program, not only is it a 100% volunteer program, but these people are all so genuine and, and have a passion for the Second Amendment. What we do is help support junior marksmanship programs here in Southern Nevada. Every year we, we try to do something for the kids because they are the future of the shooting sport. And uh, like last year we gave them com compound bows. Uh, then the year before that we gave them uh, 20 gauge shotguns. The year before that we gave away 22s. The year before that BB guns. Uh, we just try to do something for the kids every year because like we said, it's the future of the shooting sport. And if you get kids involved in it early, they're not going to take that gun to school. They work year-round raising money, getting everyone involved in the program, including the local business owners around their shop. We have a couple of businesses here in the mall that uh, we get donations from also. Jesse and I wanted to go over and meet uh, some of these guys and just say thank you really for supporting the Friends program. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm Jesse. 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 Nice to meet you. Hi, Matt. Hi, Matt. How are you? Pleasure. And uh, Dan is one of the people that donate every year for the Southern Friends of the NRA Banquet. You guys, one thing that the Friends of the NRA program doesn't do is toot their own horn. That's where Jesse That's and I come, come in. in. So. We're going to toot it for y'all. So yeah. thank you so much for what you do do for the program. And if you could do something with that hair, <laughs> we all would greatly appreciate it. You see people like that and how passionate they are. You know that our Second Amendment is going to be protected, and we've got to have people like that. It's so nice to meet you. That will continue their support and volunteer their time to raise money that's going to go back into the local community. 